Hello everybody, in this video we need to talk about same seed parameter in MidJourney. MidJourney is a text-to-image AI that generates images based on user's textual input. So, as you can see, same seed is described as this, the, the parameter is dash dash, same seed and a numerical value, right? So basically you need to put a number after that. And it describes this uh, in the documentation, sets the same seed across all images of the resulting grid, resulting in minimal changes within the initial grid, the same seed can be any positive integer. Basically, seed was designed to kind of give randomness, of course, to the results. And uh, if you want to achieve something that is similar, because again, we are getting four results when generating an image. As you can see, everything that I put here generate four different thumbnails. And I can upscale each one and do another variation. But basically, if I want to get something, let's say that I really like that result, right? And I want to get different variations, I can just get this one and choose make variation, right? And this is an option to generate images that are very similar to the one that I actually chosen to uh, generate variation from. But if you want from the get-go to generate images that look more similar, you're going to use this one. So for example, if I use the same, take this one, right the same thing that i use here and i use all right and same seed i'm going to choose a certain number all right let's do three four five six all right and we're gonna oh i just want to also put the same aspect ratio as well so this is ar 16 by 10 all right i'm just adding same seed and i'm gonna press enter and let it generate now this is not generated the same seed. This was generated using variations. And as you can see, it's very similar result, right? You can see, but again, looks different, right? But very similar. So this is, by the way, what I do if I see a good image that I really like out of the four, which usually the four are different images, of course. And uh, for example, like this one, I'm going to continue generating variation for a specific image, all right? So this is how usually I work with uh, when I get four images because I don't like this one, for example. I don't like that one, that one, just like this one. So I want to continue seeing different variation of that one. All right. Uh, and if you see here, uh, it just generated something, all right, as you can see. Uh, but you can see that the results are very, very similar. Right. Sometimes when you just uh, get something and you want to uh get things that are similar rather than different you're going to go with the same seed and uh you're going to get variation that hopefully they're good but you get different variations from all right so for example let's try another one with different seed all right um let's try another one different one all right just going to put a few more and we're going to generate them. All right. Now, look at something. I'm going to generate all that. Now, what happens if I do and I use the same seed? Take a look. All right. We're going to use the same number here, the same seed number. All right. Because this is the one we're actually responsible of generating uniqueness. All right. So, as you can see here, this is another one being generated as you can see here they are very similar with changes of course but if you upscale it you're going to see it even more detail this is just kind of a the thumbnails low res but you can see they're very similar but there are changes right nose eyes patterns here texture all right but they're very similar right uh, this is another one. It's not completely uh, generated yet, but you can see they are very similar. You're going to see images, but overall, it's going to be very similar. All right. All right. So now uh, for the same use of same, same seed. All right. So let's take a look. This is one, for example, with same seed three, four, five, six. I generated a few images, so you can actually see. Now you're going to see that the results again are very similar, but not identical. So this is another one, as you can see. All right, very similar, but not identical. Just for example, you can see no nose here. All right, here nose, all right. This is another one generated separately, all right. You can see 
they are different. This one, for example, doesn't have a line here underneath. This has, this one has, this one has, this one has, right? This is another one. But again, similar to the other ones, but not completely identical. All right, this is another one, by the way, 56754. So this is uh, this is the one, right? And you can see 56714. Different images, but similar, right? You can see here and here. All right. So basically, again, if you want to get something similar, uh, this is a way to do it. But in general, what I do, I generate uh, images because I want to see uh, different results. And from different results, I choose. I want to see actually completely different results. Uh, and actually, this is one of the polls that I think a questionnaire that MidJourney developer asks if you want to see results that are close or similar. I don't want to see... If uh, similar. I want to see completely different results. I want the engine to surprise me, and then I want to continue from that point on and see if I want to get more vari variations. Also, one more thing that I want to talk about uh, is actually why we are getting different results, right? Because uh, I think, based on what I've read, because again, the tensor cores uh, and again, GPU is uh, non deterministic. So basically, this is because uh, the operations are coming from concurrent multi-threaded implementations. So what happens is actually that some actually can finish sooner or later than others. This is why you don't get the same exact results. This support leads to things uh, running asynchronously. All right, so uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you find this one useful. Again, uh, my preference is just going with something uh, by default, get different results. And from that point on, if I like something, I'm gonna go and choose variation. Just, just so we know, this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. And UI and VI correspond to, you, this is again UI2, UI1, UI2, UI3, UI4. This is upscaling the image, and this is for variation V. So this is V1, V2, V3, and V4. And that's it. Hope you find this useful. I'll see you on the next guide. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.